Dozens of stolen IDs, checks, and credit cards recovered. Tonight, Converse police say they put an end to an identity theft ring. Two people are in custody, but police still need help tracking down a woman who slipped away, and that's not all. The night team's Patty Santos reports police are also working to notify the victims. This is exactly what identity theft looks like. Converse police cracked open an organized identity theft ring this morning. They say two men in custody are fugitives and have a history of similar crimes. These are all different victims, and the fact that these guys are two fugitives uh, being sought for the same type of crime, uh, that, that part was a little bit shocking. Police were called to this Walmart off of FM 78 this morning, where a man and woman were allegedly trying to pass stolen check money orders. The man was detained at the store, but the woman slipped out, jumping into an awaiting truck and racing off. The chase ended here near Woodlake Parkway, about two miles away, when the suspect's vehicle crashed into three other vehicles. Five people were injured at that intersection. Police say this is the driver. The truck he was driving was stolen. But in the commotion, the woman slipped away again. They hope someone can help identify her. At this point, she's, she's a suspect in the same organized uh, crime of theft ring that we have. Now police have the painstaking task of identifying and notifying all the victims spread out all over San Antonio. There are dozens of credit cards, IDs, hold checkbooks and social security numbers they'll have to sort through. This is an incredible illustration of how damaging these type of suspects can be. Patty Santos, KSAT 12 News. Those suspects face felony organized theft charges. Their names are not being released until they're processed. The Converse Police Department says they will release more information on their Facebook page in an effort to identify some of the victims.